Hmm, what sound is that? Come on, can you guess? Yeah, you're right. It sounds like somebody's chewing something. Oh, what are the food that we usually chew? Mmm, yes, veggies, you know, like a cucumber that have crunchy, crunchy sound. Also fruits like apple or pear. And also, oh yes, my favorite meat. And of course, chewing gum. Choo, 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 choo. How about milk, water, or juice? Yes, we don't really chew liquids, but instead we suck them. Most of the time, yay, with straw. Different insects, just like us, they eat different food. So, they need different mouth parts to eat. Some insects chew the food, yum yum. Others suck their food. But God made each insect with the mouth parts it needs, so everyone can eat the food that they need. Insects with chewing mouth parts usually have two strong jaws. That's how they grind from side to side. Here you can see the grasshopper is enjoying eating the leaves. Chewing insects usually eat plants. They usually cause great damage to crops. That's why a lot of farmers call them pests and use sort of pesticide or kind of medicine to let them away. Grasshopper, crickets, termites, beetles are all chewing insects. Therefore, they chew with, yes, two sharp, strong jaws. Other insects have sucking mouth parts. Some sucking insects have long, piercing mouth parts. These mouth parts are almost like small beaks or straw. Sucking insects usually feed on plants, but female mosquitoes sometimes suck blood from an animal or a person as well. Mosquitoes and butterflies, they are both using their proboscis, the long tube or you know, the one that looks like a straw. But in this case, butterfly will attack you and suck your blood. But instead, they suck the sweet liquid of the flowers, what we call nectar. So don't forget it, the long piercing tube that they use, it is called proboscis. So bye, thank you for being with me today and see you next time.